Welcome back. If the recent economic recession is any indication, something we all could use is help with managing our money. This isn't just good sense. In FCPS, it's part of a good curriculum across grade levels. We see students begin their money lessons early in elementary school with partnerships with local banks. Then middle school students play a life-size version of the game Life with a week-long budget simulation at Finance Park. And soon, all Virginia high school students will be required to take a financial literacy course to graduate. At Chantilly High School, students in this pilot class are mastering lessons that go far beyond balancing a checkbook. It's the start of a new month for these students, and that means the rent is due. Bills need to be paid, they need to manage a grocery budget, and it might be a good time to check on lending rates for a used car. Simple stuff. Simple because this is an economics and personal finance class at Chantilly High School. This class gives students a deeper understanding of personal economics by exploring mortgages, inflation, taxes, and all the other money matters their parents take care of. Uh, it's important because you have to know like what you have to know how to live within your means because uh, a lot of times like you just go and spend out of uh, spend a lot of money and you wouldn't know how much you do but it's important to like have a budget so you understand like I have X amount of dollars I can spend that much like this much on some stuff and you just make sure that you manage your lifestyle so that you can afford it. I've actually learned that um, about like fraud, type of fraud mint. Um, I thought it was just credit but it's actually a bunch of other stuff like social security and all that. Um, it surprised me and that very moment I went to my mom and I was like, hey mom, do you check your credit annually, like you know every year? She's like, yeah. She's like, why are you asking me this? I'm like, you know, I'm just double checking, making sure you're doing the right stuff. She's like, okay. So I thought me, I'm helping her out because of this class. So I've learned a lot. Real life lessons, sometimes difficult lessons, abound in economics and personal finance class. Once they get past the math involved in amortizing a loan or separating net pay from gross earnings, most students realize the secret to maintaining a balanced budget comes down to making well-informed personal choices. I'm not saying lease a car or make a car payment. Here are the choices, here's the end, uh, end results. So you decide what you want to do. I'm not saying go get your health insurance from Blue Cross, but here's what a PPO does and here's what an HMO does. You decide. Currently, economics and personal finance is an elective course. But as part of a statewide mandate, all students will be required to pass this course in order to graduate, beginning with the class of 2015. The curriculum for economics and personal finance is already in place. The challenge for FCPS staff is to take this elective course and modify the content in order to serve the needs of every high school student. One solution? Offer the content in several different forms the mandated personal finance components were added to the AP and IB economics classes, and the classes are offered online through FCPS 24-7 Learning. We are trying to make this as flexible as, as possible for students so that they can meet the graduation requirement, get the still, uh, skills that are necessary, but also ha still have some elective choice. Helping to facilitate and enhance an expanded demand for financial literacy, Cardinal Bank, Genworth Foundation, and EverFi Incorporated have all partnered with FCPS on curriculum software. At this unveiling, school system and business leaders introduced a suite of online, interactive, personal finance lessons. So EverFi's built out a, a um, really intricate and complex gaming curriculum that teaches kids hundreds of different topics around finance, around personal finance. So we cover everything from the basics of credit scores and credit cards and compounding interest and savings all the way over to how the stock exchanges work, how bonds are traded, how the Fed works, how interest rates are set. And so it really gives students a full 3D look into how finance works, both personal and macro uh, finance. I mean, they're pretty fun because, I mean, not just because you're learning, but because you're actually playing a game at school and you're allowed to play. So um, I think it's pretty cool and you can click on different things and um, it's really interactive um, versus them just talking at you or you just reading something, so yeah. Financial literacy means a lot more than balancing a checkbook or saving up an allowance. Some of the lessons these students will come away with include an understanding of how to live within their means and a greater appreciation of their family's financial situation. 
And I understand now what she goes through, especially that she has two jobs. Like, I have two jobs now, so I know how it feels as for her to struggle with that, paying her rent and all that. So I have a good understanding of what she's going through. One of the wow moments was just, you know, like when you're uh, in the sim games and stuff, when you like try and make a budget for like your apartment and your groceries and stuff, you really you don't understand how much stuff costs like that because your parents do a lot of that stuff for you. So it's like you get a basic understanding of like how much all of that stuff costs and how expensive it is to live.